What good? We are back, man. We are back, man. Check it out, man. Is everybody having a good week, man? Is everybody having a good week out there? Check it out, man. I'm just coming back from spring break, man. Sorry I've been away for a while. Just come back from Hilton Head, South Carolina with the family, man. So I'm back with the other family. I'm back with y'all. We back in here checking out these music video reactions, man, on your favorite channel. And check it out, man. Number one request, man. Rage Against the Machine again. Y'all favorite band, man. This time we got Down Rodeo. And check it out, man. First, first time I heard the request, man, I thought it was Down Rodeo. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't, I didn't really understand what the, uh, the, 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 the premise of the, uh, the track. So I checked it out. I said, okay, they're talking about Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? So the funny thing about it, down Rodeo. So are they? I guess they're riding down Rodeo Drive. And the crazy thing about it, man, Rodeo Drive. That's a real. I know in the '60s. It was a real, real big uh, 60s and 70s, probably the 80s too. I don't know how. I don't know what it looks like now, but back in those days, it was a real big, popular uh, fashion district. You know, so that's why all the rich and powerful, all the famous people that would go shopping. I think Giorgio uh, had a uh, Giorgio Beverly Hills. I think he had a, a boutique out there on Rodeo Drive. So it was a real, real big, popular area. So I'm pretty sure uh, they seen Zach riding down Rodeo, man. Him and uh, him and his crew. I don't think they would be too fond of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm already trying to. I'm already thinking where this track is going. You know what I'm saying? So we finna get into it, man. This is off their their sophomore album, Evil Empire. I've uh, reacted to. Uh, I think what, what did I react to last time? I think I reacted to uh, Bulls on Prey. You know what I'm saying? I got a. Um, I think I gave that a thumbs up, man. No, real, real dope track. So I'm, I'm very interested in checking out more of this Evil Empire, man. But before we do, man, make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. All right, you dig? So we're finna get into this down rodeo. You feel me? Let me put my headphones on. And let's get it. Man, all right, first off, man, that right there just gave me straight just 90s vibes. That just, just gave me straight just 90s vibes, man. The guitar, the the the, the melody, the echo of the, the reverb, all the all the whole sound just gave me the vibes of my childhood, man. I could I could just smell it in the air. I'm man, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a treat, dog. Y'all, man, Zach be spitting some bars, dude. Oh, man. Zach be spitting some bars, man. He just talking about the straight being hungry, man. He's hungry, but his belly's full. There's so many metaphors and cliches, dude. I got to rewind that, man. Man, 
Now, the Clockers. Is he talking about drug dealers? Now, I've seen the movie Clockers, Spike Lee. Now, when they were clocking, man, when they talking about clocking, they talking about dealing drugs, making money, getting that, getting paper. You know what I'm saying? So is he is he talking about the same clockers? This came out a year after. I think this came out the same year or a year after the movie Clockers did. So Zach, man, Zach is heavy, dude. Okay, here we go. I mean, that's wicked, dude. Do it. Hey man, he let you know, man. We ain't gonna let y'all come in here and get us like y'all did in the past. We done learned from this, from y'all tricks from the from the early days. Hey, y'all did Fred Hampton, Huey P. Newton. We done learned to all them little schemes that y'all did, man. Y'all ain't gonna trick us. Y'all ain't gonna send all them little ops in. You know what I'm saying? To to snitch on us no more. We see them now. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to Zach. We see him now. Man, this is so beautiful, dude. Oh yeah. So now I'm rolling down Rosea with the shotgun. These people ain't seen the brown skin man since they grabbed their as far one. Yeah, I'm rolling down Rosea with the shotgun. These people ain't seen the brown skin man since they grabbed their as far one. Yeah, I'm rolling down Rosea with the shotgun. Man, he is so deep, dude.
Yo, man, that song had so many, so many jewels and gems in it, man. You just can't catch it in one pass, and you know what so You got to go back and listen to that, man. But one thing I did catch, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about, and I told y'all at the beginning of this video about Rodeo Drive and, and the fucking how it was in the 60s and the 70s. And I bet now, man, they give you the fucking side eye when you roll them down and you end up the right skin color. You know what I'm saying? And he even said, man, these motherfuckers ain't never seen no fucking brown man. Because all they do is go to their fucking Hollywood jobs or to their fucking corporate jobs. Go to their little supermarkets, go to Rodeo Drive, go to their little fashion boutiques, buy whatever they're going to buy. And go straight to their fucking mansions in Beverly Hills. And they ain't going to see no person of color, no black person, no Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? Especially no person of no meager means. Ever. They cut. They completely cut off. So Zach can go down Rodeo and wake their ass up. You know what I'm saying? He ain't talk, he, He's not speaking violence either, man. You know, he's not speaking violence. It's all about self-defense. Self -def just like the Black Panthers, man. They were not promoting violence at all. They were just riding around exercising their Second Amendment. No issue, no problem. But the government, Ronald Reagan, saw that and was like, nah, we can't have that going on. They'll be riding that Rodeo Drive before you know it. No, we got to get them shotguns out of here. You dig? So, what do y'all think about that track, man? What do y'all think about that, man? What else we got, man? Please give me some more of this Rage Against the Machine, man. Just a quiet, peaceful dance for the things we never have. What do y'all What do y'all think he meant by that? What things we, we never have? We, we will never have. I know I, I know you ain't talking about freedom. Cause we're gonna have freedom one day. Everybody's gonna have peace, man. You know what I'm saying? But to those who never saw it, those that sacrificed their life, man, for the freedom, man, I think this song was was uh was meant for them. But that's all I got, man. Any more rage, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all like. And make sure y'all definitely a damn subscribing for sure. You dig? And that's all I got. Peace.